I grew up an only child, too, which is the absolute worst. I hate it. It's, it's the worst. It's, it's lonely. It stinks. I even hate the term only child. Doesn't it sound like a disease? <laughs> they should change the term to the chosen one. <laughs> that sounds so much better. James Amy siblings? Actually, I'm the chosen one, so... <laughs> you might want to change your tone. No one even likes only child. That's what I realized. I've never told someone I was an only child and they were impressed. And everybody's like, hey, I'm an only child. And someone's like, oh my God, really? That's so awesome, neat. This is what I get. Oh, I'm an only child. They're like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You're kind of a freak, I see now. You get blamed for everything? That's the worst part. That's the worst part about being an only child. Everything's your fault automatically. Whenever something was missing in my house growing up, it was never my dad, never a burglar, always me. Always James. My mom would shake me. Did you take cookies from the cookie jar? Did you take liquor from my liquor cabinet? Did you take money from my purse? I'm like, I don't know, I'm drunk eating cookies. Ah. <laughs> she was right though, I used to steal from her. <laughs> I needed 20 bucks to go to the mall. I had to take it from her purse once a week, you know? I was really dumb as an only child. You can't steal from your parents if you're an only child. You get caught every time. You know what that's like? That's like farting on an elevator with one other person. <laughs> it's the same thing. The other guy's like, I know it's you. <laughs> I'm like, it's okay, sir. I'm vaccinated. Don't worry about it, all right? <laughs> I'm not lonely anymore. I do have a girlfriend. We just celebrated our two-year anniversary. Thank you. Oh, you guys are so nice. She's, uh, she's fantastic. I love her very much. She's also mixed race. She's Indian and white. So our kids are going to be X-Men. Heck yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to have kids with my girlfriend, dude. That kid's gonna be four races. That baby's gonna be lit. <laughs> it's gonna have a lot of amazing traits. It's gonna have Chinese work ethic, Puerto Rican pride, <laughs> Indian leadership, and white privilege. Hell yeah! <laughs> that kid's making it. <laughs> She's a great job. I don't know why she dates me. She's a great job. She's a PhD student at Columbia University. She's getting her PhD in neuroscience. Yeah, so I am not working in the future, guys. <laughs> the other day she's like, you're a 10, baby. I'm so dumb, I'm like, yeah, you're a 401k, baby, yeah. It's like 40 times better. But I think she's the one, you know? I've, been, uh, I've done stuff with her, I've never done with another girl. Like, I introduced her to my mom. Never introduced a, a, a girl to my mom before. And it, it went very well. But I did notice something annoying. When my mom and my girlfriend met, they changed their voices. <laughs> yeah, their voices got really high and really cute out of nowhere. They saw each other like, hi, it's so nice to meet you. Oh my God, I love what you're wearing. I don't know how you stand, James. Yes, it is! <laughs> I'm just like, uh, what? How come you guys don't talk to me in that voice? Every time they talk to me, they yell, they growl, they sound annoyed. They sound like Darth Vader working for NJ Transit when they talk to me. What the hell do you want? I don't know where your phone is. Stay clear. Isn't that crazy? The closer we are to people, the worse we treat them. You ever realize that? That's like a human thing people do. Like the other day I came home, my girlfriend was crying. I'm like, what's wrong, baby? She goes, oh, I wish I had more friends. No one loves me. Like, nonsense, baby. I'm your friend and I love you. She goes, oh, shut the hell up already. <laughs> You're a loser. <laughs> I don't miss dating, too. That's another thing that uh, she tells me that she's the one. I don't miss dating. Dating's tough, man. The single, single sucks. It's a lot of weird people out there. Anyone single people here? Any single people? <laughs> yeah, that's the saddest clap I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> It stinks. There's a lot of freaks out there, man. When I was dating, I also, there, I just met a lot of girls that believed in horoscope signs. Which I don't, listen, I don't even care if you believe in horoscope signs. Listen, we all believe in stuff to get us through life, right? We have religion. I believe I'm gonna make it in comedy one day. All right, I'm crazy too. <laughs> I'm delusional, I'm cuckoo bananas. I just don't understand people that believe horoscope signs when it comes to dating, but they can't believe actual signs that the person is not interested. <laughs> like I used to date this girl, she's like, you're a Leo, I'm a Gemini, we're perfect. I'm like, I haven't texted you back in seven months. What the hell are you talking about? 